Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in honor of the National Day of Silence. Tomorrow is the 17th year we've commemorated the National Day of Silence. It's a time when students across the country remain silent for a whole day to draw attention to discrimination towards their LGBT peers. Our country has made great progress towards more acceptable and tolerance for gay, lesbian individuals. However, gender expansive students, gender diverse students, and straight allies still face a lot of fear and discrimination. I want all these students to know they are not alone. I say this every year, but I continue to be so proud of the young constituents, their parents and families, who are working to make a world a better place for all people, no matter your race, your color, your gender, or your sexual orientation. For example, Jordan, a ninth grade student, transgender male student at ARC in Santa Cruz, will be the MC at the 17th Annual Queer Youth Leadership Awards in Capitola. Jordan's mom, Heidi, is an advisory council member to the Trans Teen Project and a facilitator for Trans Family Support Group. Though many LGBT students and their allies are silent tomorrow, we in Congress must never be silent. It is our job to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves.